Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. Today we're gonna look at a very weird issue that for some reason happens when you are building an application that runs as administrator in .NET MAUI. And that is if you package it and sign it using the .NET publish and you give it the thumbprint and something, for some reason the executable that the package will run is not signed. In this video, we're gonna look at how to fix it and then here i'm also going to link this github issue that i created and that made this video and shout out to gerald for kind of giving me the idea on how to do it and also i'm going to fix a little bit and here i did say that i used the .NET build but then when i was actually getting it ready for production realized that something wasn't copying over so instead uh, i changed a little bit to this so i'm just gonna talk through every single light every single line of code required to build this so yeah first thing is you do require msix hero there's an open source tool for packaging and unpackaging msixs so make sure to download that it's free to use first thing you do is you do the regular dotnet publish the reason for that instead of just doing the build is for some reason when you just do build and then try to package it with msix hero some stuff doesn't get copied over and I didn't want to really deal with it. I was just like, let's just package it. Then I unpack it with MSIX hero. You pass the directory where you want to copy it. I usually do like the dot bin of where I am and then the package that you just created. So this one will be like slash bin slash publish app application, blah, 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 dot MSIX. Then you have to sign the exe and the DLL because for some reason they don't get signed when you're building it. Then you have to package it again and then you have to sign the package again. So with that, you get rid of this annoying warning when you're running your uh, Maui app as, as administrator on Windows. Quick video and as always, this is gonna be in the GitHub. So feel free to just go grab this, put in your th thumbprint, put in your thumbprint and all that stuff paths and get it to work. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.